Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. This time we're playing as Joe. Uh, Joe has a pretty weird face. Also, uh, we haven't seen much of Joe. So, you know, isn't that a thing? Anyway, we're gonna go play as him. We're gonna make people feel the power! So anyway, what special move does he have? He has this. Oh, doesn't he have a, like, a little punch thing? Kind of like Adon. Yes, he does. Oh, wow. Technically, that'd be a special KO if he just did his jump kick. Okay, baby! <laughs> I'm drinking some water because I have a headache right now. Why is it when I record this series I'm afflicted with all sorts of physical issues? Just swept action. Okay, baby. <laughs> okay, baby. Yeah, Joe is pretty generic. Uh, him and Mike both showed up in the uh, in Street Fighter 2 in the intro, and that's about it. <laughs> Just like most of the characters in this game. All right, so just do a few punches and yell power. Really, only have that one special? That one super? Man, that's sad. Okay, baby! Okay. So he does have a kick special. Kind of like uh, Benny Maru's uh, kick from King of Fighters. Damn it, Mike. That's it, I'm gonna have to punch him in the chest a couple times. <laughs> there you go, Mike. Get body. Okay, Papa! Make the match more dramatic by flowing with the action. Huh. Okay. Mirror match. That's the skin I want next. Joe takes a really big pride in this one attack. There you go. Okay, baby! Yeah, there's not a lot to say about Joe because, well, he's such a such a bland character. Like, he's so basic and so boring to the point where you can't commentate on him. Because after a while, it's just like, he punched somebody and then he kicked him. Oh boy, isn't this exciting. Look, that's a special move. You know, fucking... Oh my god, I'm just gonna hit left and right. I don't know how those combo are in capacity. Look, there's a super. Fuck you. Just deck him in the head. There you go. Make the match more dramatic, I get it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, again, nobody likes you. Except your fate, nobody likes you. If you're, if you do like Gen, tell me about it in the Gen episode, which will be quite a ways away from this one. So, you know what? Don't even, don't even worry about it. Oh god damn it! Power! There we go. Okay, baby. It is a nice movement option. And an anti-air. Probably only the heavy anti-air, though. Arr, get out of here again. Okay, baby. There you go. Ken, another American. Actually, he's, he's Japanese American. At this point, I can't, I can't tell. I don't know if you can. I guess you. I guess. I, I guess you. I suppose you can link it into a combo. Mirror. That's right. How oh, long? He just died. I was just like, eh, and that killed him. <laughs> Ken, what are you doing? Also, I'm not gonna continue the I'm tired counter because the last time I did that, it left a weird video glitch at the end. So you know, I'm not gonna do that no more. Anyway. Ooh! <laughs> We've seen that Queen quote a thousand times. I'm sorry if I seem like, if I seem really weird right now, if I'm talking really weird, I think I got horrible stuff in my mouth. But I need to get rid of it. And it's not barf. I wrecked you. <laughs> wrecked you. And are they gonna be talking with the silly voice the entire time? Do you wanna listen to me? Are you really serious? Just talking like this? No. No, you don't. If only you could cause him, Mugen. Okay, you know what? He can't kill me in that amount of time. No, Retsu, you aren't allowed to do this. Okay. I assessed the situation comfortably. Whoa! Oh, technically, yeah, I guess there's running in this. There's there's a lot more similarities to King of Fighters in this game. Like, to more SNK things than I think there are. Why didn't they drop Terry Bogard in this game? That would've been funny. 
That would have been some funny irony. Some juxtaposition, maybe, perhaps? Eagle. 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 Oh my god. So many of these characters I've never really experimented with before. You, when I play you in uh, CBS 2 and Street Fighter Alpha 3, I'm gonna forgive you so hard. I don't know. Oh shit, CBS 2 is gonna take forever to play. It's gonna take forever. Same thing when I get to Marvel 2. I'm gonna get to Marvel 2. But those are way down the road, and you know what? I wanna go at my own pace. So you know what? We're not gonna talk, we're not gonna think about the, pu the future. And we're usually gonna reference the past, but never really uh, talk about it that much. We're just gonna focus on the present. Erg! There we go. Eventually, Eagle had to submit. Okay, baby. There you go. Hey, look up. That's the guy I'm gonna play next episode. Cool. Birdie's lower lip is huge. What the fuck? I didn't notice that before. What? First he's disease. First he's sick, and now he has a giant lip because he has fucking. What? He gets stung by bees or something? Like what the hell? Birdie, I'm so sorry for you. You, you have. You're forced to fight on a dingy street. You have to wear tattered, ripped up clothes that are probably really dirty. Your hair is an awful shape, is an awful blonde or bleach color. You're totally sick, which fucks up your skin condition. Which, uh, condition. Which fucks up his skin complexion. And all the while, he's gotten stung by hundreds and hundreds of bees. And gets killed by chip damage. That's probably the saddest bit. Okay, baby. I love how tall Burry is, and yet he can't defeat this guy. So, do you have a green shirt to wear tomorrow? Yeah. And do you want to wear the St. Patrick's Day hat? By the way, happy, probably late St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> what? I'm recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now you have tattoos. No. So you're gonna wear that hat? For like five seconds. But you have a green shirt, because, um... Is the pit. Teresa said you will be that's what happens when your families are uh, interesting. Yes, you have a very interesting family. Oh, hey, Lee. I played you last episode, and I was very tired while doing so. <laughs> I couldn't go this whole episode without bringing it up. I'm sorry. Um, editing the I'm tired counter was one of the funniest things ever. <laughs> Just cause, at the last minute, like, I was like 20 I'm tired in, and then not only did I forget to put in the Snorlax cries, which I did, I did do it, but then by the time I got there, I think I just kept saying I'm tired, and I just, for, I just, I totally gave up. I totally gave up at the end, because, she, Jesus Christ, I could have just thrown in a little, a little addendum and, you know, fixed the error with the border graphics, but, eh. You know what? Makes it more like I actually just crashed to sleep and didn't even know what I was doing. So you know what? Theming. You gotta think of things in a positive way. You can't just harp on everybody for their mistakes, okay? Just pretend I was so asleep that even during editing I couldn't even do it. Oh my god, Lee, what the fuck? Oh yeah, also, uh, Daniel brought up an interesting point of your thighs are fucking huge. POWER!
Okay, baby. I had a feeling it was gonna pop up there. Ryu. So we fought Ryu, we fought Ken, we fought Retsu, we fought Geki. We fought Joe, we fought Mike. We fought Lee, we fought Gen, we fought Birdie, we fought Eagle. Okay. Our last fight before the boss characters. All right, cool. Submit to me! You shall submit, Ryu! You shall die! Ugh. Power! There you go. Half of this video is just me quoting Joe's stupid lines and uh, me rambling on about bullshit. But isn't that half of a video anyway? Yeah, I think it is. Oh my god, do I want to go on the goddamn fucking blizzard rant? <laughs> There's so many tirades that I'm not allowed to go on. It's so bizarre. Oh yeah, also with King of Fighters 94, uh, this set is me playing two Murricans. Unless, if you discount the, uh, King of Fighters 94 Japan Team Super Cut that should be uploaded at this point, but if it isn't, then, uh, that's gonna happen, and it's funny, because it's every last bit of fail. Anyway, hi Cody, we both have green hair. Isn't that interesting? Because he has no eyebrows, and I do. But he has a less dopey face, so, you know. I guess you gotta subplant some things for others. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Your sound effects are still funny, Cody. It doesn't matter how old I get, those sound effects will be funny. Sure, they're probably iconic to old school beat em up fans, but. You know what? You know what? This tirade works for any episode of Credit Quest, so I may as well do it right now to give the episode variety. Uh, what's the confusion between... There's like a really weird clash from like, people who grew up from the ar from the days of the arcades, where they just called, um, fighting games and beat-em-ups. Fighting games. Or just beat-em-ups. Either one. They're, they're the same. They're, they were one and the same back then. Now, from what I've heard, is that uh, beat em ups and that beat em up is not even a good genre term anymore. Is that it's fighting games for one on one fighters or, you know, any kind of 2D or 3D fighting game where there's life bars. And, and then for a beat em up game, they're brawlers. So you have to have an ER at the end of your name in order to be a valid you have to either have an ER or ING at the end of your name to be a valid video game genre now is that not the truth i mean cuz you've got I mean, you've got puzzle games and i don't know just it's a really weird set of circumstances i call these games what i'm playing for this series fighting games and I call games like Final Fight, Streets of Rage, you know, those are beat-em-ups to me. So, just to get the confusion out of the way, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm, I'm very, very sorry. There you go. Rant over with. Wow, Adon has a type of attack like that. He does. He does have an attack like that, but he didn't do well enough. 
You've got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, kid. <laughs> oh, that one quote never gets old. Music? It's been a weird glitch ever since I've started filming this series. But then again, I think Mugen and OBS just don't go together. Like, I mean, you... I mean, you think they would. Sagat! Sagat! Friggin' Sagat! I have not lost a single, uh, match for the series, by the way. Which, I think by the time I get to Sagat, I'm gonna enable AI cheating, just to see how hard it gets. Because this is a joke. Okay, baby! I don't know why I am playing a kickboxer wearing red jeans versing a very tall man wearing an eye patch and very short shorts in Thailand. We didn't even do anything in Thailand. Why did they deserve our hate? Yeah, does, does, does Japan have a thing against J uh, Thailand? I mean, I think like... Because either they depict Thai people as really, really evil or really, really stupid. I don't know. Anyway, here's the ending. Having won the tournament, Joe realized that his dreams of fame and glory are finally reality. He truly feels like a champion. Yeah, baby! I did it! It was a tough road to get here, but it was worth it. Now everyone knows that I'm a winner and not just another fighter. Finally, my time has arrived! Yeah! Excellent work, Joe. I'm impressed. You're a great fighter. Is this just a movie? <laughs> You're just what my movie needs! That face, those moves, not to mention those muscles. You're perfect for my leading man! What's like Chang from fighting it from Fatal Fury? You like me in your movie, but I'm a fighter, not an actor. Don't worry about that. I know talent and you've got it. So what do you say? Hmm, me in a movie? Hmm. Okay, man, you've got yourself a deal. Ha 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 ha! With your victory in the Street Fighter tournament and now this movie, you're going to be a hit, my friend! Ha ha ha! Yeah, baby! The movie was street was called Street Fighter 2. What if Street Fighter is just an act this entire time? What if, what if the whole shadowing stuff is just an act? Fei Long was really the main character! <laughs> Not that pussy boy Ryu! Yeah, whatever. Next time on Street Fighter 1, we are going to be playing as Birdie. I will see you all next time.